Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Cubica AMF Tech Tip Podcast. This is a weekly podcast where we take you on a journey through the fascinating world of bowling technology and beyond. And as always, I'm your host, Orly, and I'm always lucky to have a great guest with me. Today we have Travis Houston on with us. Travis, how are you doing today? Good, Orly. How are you? I'm doing great. And Travis has been on the show before. You know, if you are new to the show and you haven't had a chance to listen to some past episodes, make sure you're going back and listen to these shows. There's so much knowledge that's being taught on this show um, that can help you in your center. And Travis, for those that maybe haven't heard you on the show, can you please explain uh, what you do with Cubica AMF? I'm a trainer with Cubic AMF, and I train on such things as Conqueror X upgrades, uh, Best X scoring upgrades, and basically anything that um, gets newly updated for your center. Okay. And today, my question for you is, you know, um, some centers have, you know, tr attractions that they charge by maybe the hour, maybe every 30 minutes. Let's say there's, um, I don't know, ones I could think of are maybe like pool tables, uh, maybe gaming PCs. Uh, first off, do you see that in centers? Like, and maybe have some other examples of what people might charge by by the time. Yeah. So, uh, other attractions, like just things that you would find in a bowling center outside of your your average bowling lanes, right? So, um, maybe it's uh, you've got some small lanes of duck pin that you want to charge by hour, or you've got um, some additional. Um, maybe it's an arcade that you want to charge per hour instead of, uh, by, uh, quarter operated or, or card operated, um, you know, with somebody wanting to be in the facility or, or ax throwing, uh, which is newly and, um, you know, starting to become more popular in facilities. Okay. And I'm sure there's probably even something cooler out there that we don't even know about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So my question with all that was, is there a way for people to use Conquer to be able to charge by the hour? And if so, can you let us know a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So in Conquer X, there is a, or if you have Conquer Pro, um, there is a module called Time Games. And if you go to your uh, main screen or your quick access screen, you can go to Setup modules and options setup and time game setup and here you are able to create your attraction that you're able to charge per time so if we go down to the bottom there is a large plus button and it says new we select that and basically we name our attraction so this is going to be your billiards um your axe throwing your you know whatever it is so let's Let's start with billiard tables and go billiards. And then it'll ask you if uh, you want to have this as a essentially a chargeable item. Hit just hit OK. And then or a reservable item, I'm sorry. And then once you get into here, there are several options. Um, so we get it to walk down time. Basically, you can set an amount of time for your customer to be able to get to the attraction before it starts charging them. Okay. So let's say my my billiard tables are far away, and we want to you know give the customer about five minutes or so. Okay, it so gives them time to kind minutes. of gives them time to kind of find their you know their pull stick and everything. Also, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, typically, depending on how you want to. Um, Pro rate for your time games. Um, you can charge by the minute. You can charge every 15 minutes. You can charge every half hour. The time unit for billing is where where you would adjust that. Um, next, we go down to time game icon. Uh, this is where I would select a set of billiard balls. Um, here you can see there are various types of uh, attractions here that you would be able to set up in time games. Um, such as ping pong, uh, checkers, soccer, um, volleyball, uh, laser tag. So these other uh, areas that you would consider for uh, being able to do a time game for, they, they're here and available for, for the images. 
Okay. Yeah. And that, and that's great because, you know, there's probably some people, if they don't quite know fully what Conquer can do, they might be thinking, man, do I got to find a new program? Do I got to find a, another program or pay for another program? But if it's all right. there in front of them already, that that's great that they could just set it up in there. And sometimes it's just easier. You know, if you have an old pool table, instead of getting quarters stuck all the time, it's like, Hey, let's just charge by the, you know, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes. And it's just going to make life a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And so, now we got to decide, you know, how many of these we have, right? So um, let's say we've got, you know, four billiard tables. There is a smaller plus button under what looks like um, it says time game items. And we're going to hit that plus button. And it's going to ask us how many resources or how many resource items we want to create. And so this is, you know, our four billiard tables that we want to create. Uh, next, it's going to ask you about configuring switches uh, from a starting number. Um, Conquer has the ability, and it's a it's a hardware item that you would purchase in addition um, to be able to connect to either lighting controls or power controls uh, for your additional um, attractions. So one of the most common ones out there, it will control the lights to turn on and off from Conqueror for your billiard tables. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, and so if you don't have that feature, though, to where, you know, you're able to communicate with it, uh, we would uncheck that box uh, to configure the switches. And so we want to hit OK. And then we can then save our attraction, essentially. Um, you'll want to make sure that you don't have any, if you are currently using time games, uh, you want to make sure that you don't have any time games open currently because uh, it will reboot the server and it it won't uh, it won't work if you're you've got current time games open. And then once that restarts, um, you're then able to go in and you're able to build price keys around that those time games. Um, and you can look in your uh, count uh, categories or your your POS layout and be able to build out price keys for those certain attractions, you know, based on the, the time. All right. Well, that's, yeah, that makes things a lot easier. Like I said, that people that are going to maybe be looking for another program they have to use. So now they know they could do this in Conquer and, you know, with the directions you gave, it makes it even easier. So yeah, that's just another thing in Conquer. You know, we've did a lot of shows with, with features that are in Conquer and I'm pretty sure it's not going to slow down anytime soon, but it's cool to know that there's all these different opportunities for people to use uh, within Conquer, you know, whether Maybe they're not using it yet. Or maybe somebody was thinking of getting pool tables or axe throwing. They, you know, and now they know, wow, I already have the, you know, the software to be able to do the, the, the charging by the, by the hour. So now they can know how to set it up. So again, Travis, as always, thank you for joining the show. And I hope that we can have you back real soon. All right. Thank you, Orly. You're welcome. Until next time, everyone, enjoy your day and make sure to go listen to those past shows and, uh, you know, learn as much knowledge as you can. We're always here to help you. 